Hello and welcome to Animated Anarchy. Uh, this is a minicast episode featuring Andrew and Mike. Don't end it. Because we I want to talk some more. You do? No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> I just know, but you know, I wanted to just say though mm. that I do hope that because the Peanuts movie is coming out. And we saw, <laughs> but the thing is, we saw these trailers, and yeah, the Angry Birds movie looks cool. Mm. Yeah, well, that was my first time seeing the Angry Birds movie, and it's like I didn't really have like very, very high praise um, about that before seeing it. Um, be, just just because Angry Birds is, and I, 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 honestly, I, I think we're oversaturated with Angry Birds stuff. It's like it's with with all the other stuff that they've done already with Angry Birds. I mean. But hey, it's it doing looks... a movie. I guess it's like the the final leap. <laughs> but it looks cool. I yeah, think it does it look cool. cool. I, and... I thought I thought Red was cool. I I am really curious because it it's a show about angry birds and they have to be angry. So they're at anger management. There there's angry birds so in there, this world of there birds. There is going to be ang- anger in this movie. So for me, it's like I really want to see a main character that is angry. You know, it's like, yeah. have I ever told you about... Well, there's the, a main character name. Well, he's not a main character, but he is called Angry. Or Anger. A Red. No, his name's oh, is Red. That, well, no, I mean, Inside Out. Oh. I always wanted to just... Right, but he's, he's not, not really, a main, like, a main character. True, he's true. just like, he's... You but know. yeah, it's kind of cool, and it's... It, and I'm... I have a feeling it's going to be a movie that embraces... It's good to be angry sometimes. Yeah. Like, I love it when he just punts that little bird out into the, <laughs> right? in the middle right? of the ocean. Yeah, yeah. I love... I love I, honestly, I've never seen a really, truly angry main character. And and it's like, that might be fun to see if it's if it's done in a way where I feel... You know, yeah, I, it's some I, good I acting. Like, that scene where he's about ready to hit, hit that sign. In the mm-hmm. face. Yeah, and he's, like, like steaming a yeah. little bit. And he's like... Oh. And he's even... Yeah, this is... Trying great. to, like, calm yeah. himself down. And I liked... Um, and it's funny because the personalities of the birds mm-hmm. reflect on their, um, their uh, like their like their their powers, right? Like the, right. Like the little Josh Gad bird, mm-hmm. who's Josh Gad's in everything now. But, <laughs> oh my um, God, yeah. Josh Gad plays the fast bird, mm. and it's funny because like he's fast. Like he's the, the purpose of the bird in the, in the game is that when you click the button when you're going towards whatever you're hitting, mm-hmm. he just goes faster. I have never played the game. Really? I have never. It's a great like, time killer. I'd yeah. Say. I, I, well, I know what it yeah. is and it probably would have never been. Like red has no power. He's I mean, just a projectile. The, the games are basically something that I thought would never have been like, uh, as popular, as popular if it hadn't been for all that celebrity gab about it well it's weird because there's been games like angry birds for a long time in the past but it mark it marketed it well just like just like candy crush and fruit ninja yeah it's stuff that people can latch onto if you yeah. can do a game like that it's like oh appealing that's appealing yeah so no, I, there you go but no, well, I, and then I, they showed that fucking <laughs> the I, peter pan movie. the pan, pan. you know what you know what I, I gotta say about it <laughs> okay here we go I'm so glad that this is. I, there's no other movie until the Peanuts movie comes out. There's no other movie I care to see, so I don't have to see that pan trailer ever again, unless when, I go see this. When m- does the Peanuts movie come out? Uh, November. Oh, November seventh. So like a Isn't month and a half. Isn't there another movie out. that comes out in November? Is it the Good Dinosaur? The Good Dinosaur, but that's not until after. Oh right, right. But um, wow, we're gonna have the a lot pan, of movies I'm, I'm so, we're gonna have yeah. to see. And then, but the Peanuts movie I was saying before, mm-hmm. uh, before we you know earlier. I um, as much as I mean, like, I love Peanuts. Mm-hmm. I love the animation; looks great already. I'm hyped. I've never been more excited to see an animated movie in a long time. I'm pretty surprised about how they handled the Peanuts. It's very, uh, it's a very classical feeling movie. It feels like looking into a '60s Viewmaster slide. Yeah, <laughs> it's moving. It's coming alive. I think it's really cool. But the thing I can't wait. I hope, and I know that only a very small percentage of people will would ever think this, but there has to be Flash Beagle. <laughs> I want there to be some Flash Beagle involved. Flash I want Beagle. I want just Flash. there to be a moment where they're at the... Because you see it in the movie, they're at a dance. Mm-hmm. Like in the trailer, they're at a dance. I want Snoopy to strip off Joe Cool <laughs> and just rip a rip a, a bandana yeah. and put it over his head and just break down into Flash Beagle. <laughs> and then he's not cool anymore. And all the kids look at him like... Huh? Like shake their head like no. Oh no. And he gets sad and walks away. Like no, the, I, a- the 80s is dead, Snoopy. Yeah. The 80s is dead, Charlie Brown. <laughs> <laughs> what have we learned, Charlie yeah. Brown? Yeah. No, but, I and and then there was also um the Secret Life of Pets. Yeah. Which I'm 
I don't know anything. I about don't know it. anything about it either, other than that, like I, half teaser, half. Trailer. All I know is that the main character is uh, Louis C.K.'s character, which is the dog way. There's a lot of uh, comedians involved in this movie, actually. There's like and I a, assume they play a lot of pets. Yeah. Well, I'm. I, yeah. I mean. Yeah. I'm sure they're all the pets, and. I'm kind of curious as to what the story is going to be because it's like you don't really get that. It's just like a cute little. I have a short. feeling it's going to be one of two things: either, either a pet gets lost, mm. or, or do what it could be. Now that I'm thinking about flushed it, flushed away. No, <laughs> they flush a dog down the toilet. and He's got to live in the sewer. No, here's what I think it's probably going to be. It's probably going to be, um, maybe one of the pets is happy at home, and then the owner brings in maybe another pet. Mm. And now one pet is taking over in the house, and the other pet feels like it's not getting equal love anymore. Mm-hmm. I don't know. That's what I, I. That's I don't know. Maybe that's I kind of like that. What a cartoon two for the price of one. What yeah, with the, the cat. With the cat. So he's like, I'm actually a playboy. Actually, <laughs> goldfish snacks. <laughs> but um, we gotta we gotta do a mini cast about what a cartoon. Oh God, yeah, and uh, or not even a mini cast. I think we should just do a full well the blown thing, episode about I, it. I've been wanting to talk about the oh yeah cartoons for a while, but <sighs> it's so difficult to find a lot of those shorts. A lot of them are missing or don't want to be found. <laughs> yeah. except the one. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, we could discuss it at some point. Yeah. Um, in terms of other animated movies that are coming out, like The Good Dinosaur, it's like I'm I'm cautiously optimistic about that movie. Yeah. I mean, I'm I mean, glad like, that the trailer well, is just very kind of just scenic and yeah. not like. Well, here's the thing about that movie. It's like I'm I have a love hate relationship with this trailer, in in the fact that I I'm really curious about how it how it's going how or how they're going to go the about it went. because well yeah i mean they had to like cut another year for this movie to be fixed like whatever they did they had to like just drop it all and like start from scratch because something happened with the story and they just decided okay no pixar movie out this year we're gonna have to push it back and then inside out will come out afterwards and um yeah i mean it's like I, I don't really know what to think of it. Viewing the trailer, it's like, it looks cute. It doesn't give you enough information. No, it doesn't either. give me enough information. I I have this weird theory that a lot of it's going to be pantomime, like like kind of like how Wally was I don't in the really beginning see of that. it. You don't see that? You I, think the characters are all going to talk? Well, the, the, clearly the mo- dinosaur talks. He's going, yeah, hello? But only, yeah, but... Don't, mm, and, yeah, and that makes me think... There's probably not going to be There's a whole a lot cast. of talking. I already saw the cast listing. There's already a voice cast involved. I remember they had to re-record dialogue mm. when 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 they had the big usurpment. Yeah, well, maybe that was just... Well, either way, I mean, I'm more curious about it now than I was even a few months ago. I guess so. So I'm curious to I... go see it. I mean, I think we were talking about it before with Hotel Transylvania 2. You have a specific expectation, yeah, and you just hope that whatever you see at least surpasses, even ever so slightly, the yeah. expectation that you have, because mm-hmm. then you'll be at least satisfied in the sense that, well, it's better than I thought it was yeah. going to be. I, I really hate to be the the other side, Debbie of this. Downer. Yeah, I really, I really, I don't want to be. I, I just, like I said, I'm being cautiously optimistic about it because usually when movies they, when they have to be reworked. Sometimes it works well, but other times it doesn't. Yeah. Like especially with Pixar, with the whole Oh, Ratatouille. Ratatouille worked. was fixed up and that worked. And the same with Hotel Transylvania. You you see that that was like six directors. <laughs> and ultimately the result was pretty good. I'm I'm worried about the fact that this is like a brave situation, you know? It's like yeah. that that one was kind of like what happened? What happened there? Like, what? What? What was the big deal that they had to rework the entire thing, and had to push it back a bit just because something didn't work out, or some, you know, yeah. people clashed? And yeah, I, 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 I don't want to say that that's going to be the same situation with Good Dinosaur. And we that, just hope that it won't be. I hope situation. it won't be. And and that's why I say I'm cautiously op- optimistic about it. I'm just saying, like, I, I really hope it's on the more positive side of the spectrum. Yeah. Because sometimes when something like that happens, it usually means there's something bad happened. Yeah. You know, it's like something really bad happened, and now that's like they really need to fix this. Yeah. So. But I'm glad that, uh, and then 
what was that? What else did they show in front of it? It was, it was a football movie. <laughs> which looks like every other goddamn football it movie like ever made. Like Rudy or something. And like they even that. said, from the, from the people that brought you Rudy. Or whatever it said. It said from... Yeah, from the people who wrote Rudy or something like that. How do you write a, and I, a movie I, that's similar? Here, here's the thing. I saw the movie Rudy. And um, I didn't see it by choice. I saw it because my uh, history teacher at the time, when I was in high school, was also a football coach. And for some reason, he felt t- it necessary during history class to present this movie, Rudy, to the entire class that was supposed to learn history. Like like actual you know American history, not... The American football. history of football. Yeah, <laughs> that's basically what it turned into. And I remember watching this Rudy, this Rudy movie, and he's like touting like, "Oh, he's an American hero. He was like a, an underdog that at uh, faced all the odds and and became like a great inspiration to a, a, a an entire history of uh, of football players." And while we were watching this movie, I remember my friends and myself thinking to ourselves. Rudy is the worst human being I have ever seen, and I do not root for him. He is basically a whiny, like, angry person that wanted to play football, and they basically just gave it to him. And it's, it was like one of those things where I'm just like, why did we need to see this? Yeah. <laughs> but like, I mean, I understand, like, listen... The, there, there is a whole genre with with sports films, and they're very inspiring and anything. But it's like I and I understand it's not for us. It's not meant for us. You know, we're, we're very I'm an art, artist. We're I don't artists. play sports. These <laughs> sports is a, is a yeah. And and I grew up actually knowing a, a lot of a lot of people in high school that were also football players, and they're they're fairly nice people. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's like I'm not I'm not gonna say that they're all jocks and idiots. No, I knew a lot of them, and they were very nice. And I was like supposed to be the opposite of that spectrum. I was an artist, and they're supposed to be the jocks, and they're supposed to flip our our notebooks away and say, like, uh, "Give us you're swirlies." A, you're a nerd. Hey, no, they, nerd. No, they were big ass <laughs> nerd. Nerd. <laughs> if you get that reference. Um, but yeah, no, I I just remember it's like we were really honestly very appreciative of what each each other did. Like yeah. I appreciated that they could do something I couldn't, which was football. I never understood it. I still respected them for that. Yeah. And they respected the fact that I could draw because they liked to see that. I knew tons of people who were not artists look at my work and they would appreciate that. Because that was something that they couldn't do. So I so I liked that dynamic. Just because I did something that they couldn't, they weren't assholes to me, yeah. you know? So that was like that was probably the best thing about high school for me that there was. Yeah. So And yeah. in the case of this trailer <laughs> I just, uh, but, I just but, understand but, why they showed that trailer in front of a movie about Adam Sandler as Dracula. Yeah. <laughs> Like it's yeah, there was like you, a bunch of like like animated kids movies, and then this you get Angry Birds, you get Peanuts, Pan. you get Pan, <laughs> and then I think the other one was what the Goosebumps movie. Oh yeah, that's a first time is, I saw is, that which one. Which is weird because the thing about it is that I I know that we're going through a stage now where everyone's trying to do like their own version of the Lego Movie, mm-hmm. where it's about the thing, but it's not truly a story about. It's like like you're not trying to make up something to fit in that world. Yeah. But um yeah. But, uh, yeah, but, um, paper, but, uh, uh, it just is weird. Cause now, now you hear about this Nicktoons movie oh, too, yeah. where you're like, all right, uh, and it's not going to be a movie. I don't, I, you don't know what, I don't know what it's going to be like. <laughs> they actually got John K to be, come back and make Ren and Stimpy for this movie. And it's the worst parts of that movie. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just want to see... I mean, it's weird. Now we're going on a completely different tack here. Yeah, we are. But I do want to see just really... There's a few things, like, I, I brought it up once before with you, but not on the podcast, obviously. But, like, in the case of this movie, it, it, this supposed Peanuts... Not Peanuts. This supposed Nicktoons movie. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not what it is. It's more like the questions it brings up. Mm-hmm. Like... You know, most of the Nicktoons are talking anthropomorphic animals. Mm-hmm. What frickin' purpose does Eliza Thornberry serve <laughs> now? 
now that she all the animals talk already. <laughs> Who's she gonna talk to? Pork chop, Spunky, and Spike. Yeah. Really? Is that all? And then also, let's see. What if? And I and I said, what if like you know, Ren and Snippy just beat up the Rugrats, just mm-hmm. beat them up. Just, Is Doug coming back? Because because Disney partially. Yeah, because Disney partially. I hope it. so because I want to just see everyone like each other, but then. They just <laughs> all hate Doug. <laughs> oh, Doug is such a wiener. Oh, and then Doug, and then Doug writes, Doug. In, Doug writes in his journal, uh, dear journal. Um, after meeting with the other Nicktoons, I realized that I have the same haircut as a six-month-old baby. <laughs> um, why is God so cruel to me? And then Charlie Brown comes in and says, "Good yeah. grief!" Yeah. And then at the end of the movie. Uh, I think maybe that's the thing that books the movie together. It starts with Doug sitting down and going, Dear Journal, today was the worst day of my life. <laughs> it all started when Ren and Stimpy, Cat Dog, and the Ah Real Monsters oh, um, gave me a wedgie. And and then it ends. the movie ends with, and, bef- and the book shuts with a, the end on it. But he goes, I guess that movie wasn't so bad, right, Pork Chop? <laughs> you know, just that's every... You just wanted to do that Pork Chop bark. Yeah. <laughs> You know, uh-huh. Sorry, <laughs> let's just spike the mic. No. But it's but I I just I don't know what to think. Yeah, I don't that, know but I mean think, now yeah. we're again we went on another tack. But yeah, like the Goosebumps movie is just like well we we're not going to do adaptations of Goosebumps because they probably won't work. Mm-hmm. So I don't just combined all the Goosebumps into one big like cameo Goosebumps movie where all the Goosebumps books are represented and Jack Black plays a a loser like he plays like a square. He's well. He's supposed to play the. Uh, he's supposed to play like R. L. Stein. Yeah, who, but it's weird. Who is already in himself an actor? Who's like, yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, it's funny because like it's Jack Black. Who you? I mean, I don't know. Maybe because he's like, I'm tired of playing the cool rocker dude. <laughs> maybe I want to play like the stiff, like stiff, uh, crotchety, you know, paternal parent who doesn't want their kids doing anything and has secrets and stuff. Yeah. He's not rocking. He's not going like, oh yeah. He's just like, that's a bad idea, and I hate you. I think he just needs some money. Yeah. <laughs> like, Maybe. I need to buy a new car. Like, yeah. oh, well, how about this movie? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Gulliver's Travels. Has, I've been kind of depressed since Gulliver's <laughs> Travels. Can we do a movie where I'm not... I completely forgot about that. Can I do a movie where everything else is giant? Oh, my no. God. All right. Is he going to show up in the next Smurfs movie as, like, Rocker Smurf? I think all the movies, all of them, Pan, <laughs> uh, uh, Goosebumps, the it's, Nicktoons it's movie, kind of they funny. all need Flash Beagle in them. Just, <laughs> just shoehorn Flash Beagle. I, all hail. I want to do what I want to do. Oh, no. I'll find one. I'll get oh, a poster. No. Oh, I'll get a big inspirational poster, oh, and I'll have it say, God. you can do it, but it'll just be a big poster of Flash Beagle. Or no, or just a bunch of tiled Flash Beagles. Or I'll hide Flash Beagle's things around my apartment. So when people come over, they just keep seeing wherever they turn. <laughs> they go to the bathroom, the toilet bowl shaped like Flash Beagle. Oh, man. I'm never going to let Flash Beagle go. No, you're not. You're not. Come on, sing it with me. Hopefully she was <laughs> Flash. Flash. Oh, Flash Beagle. <laughs> no, um, yeah, I'll probably show up in the movie, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want Flash Beagle. Mm-hmm. How do you not? How can you not... Except Flash Beagle into your heart. <laughs> accept it, God damn it. I'll probably accept All it. hail the glory that is Flash Beagle. <laughs> Appease the god that is Flash Beagle. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Exercise the Flash Beagles. <laughs> the gospel words of Flash Beagle. <laughs> Not even the words, the dance moves of Flash Beagle. Oh, jeez. Be kind to everyone. Flash Beagle speaks the truth. <laughs> Oh man! You dared preach the anti words of I don't know. I have to watch the cartoon now to get it out of my mind. I just love that he and Franklin go to the dance. <laughs> and Franklin, yeah. It's so it's weird. I don't know. Yeah, well, whatever. Franklin bothers me. Yeah, that's not no no. <laughs> Only because it's how the others treat him. Uh, well, how, in wait. Peanuts, no one treats Franklin right. I mean, at least it's it's ta- a dated kind of stereotypical way of treating uh, Franklin. Like in what way? That like they every don't... time they meet Franklin, they have to like they fist, don't acknowledge they have to, him. No, they have to like fist bump him and stuff. Okay. So like, ever see Snoopy come home? <laughs> where like Snoopy finds his owner and he's leaving Charlie Brown to go with his old owner, and he has a big party, like a going away party, and everyone's crying and the people are coming in, and like he's crying and Sally comes in, he gives Sally a hug. Oh goes, yeah. <laughs> Gives him a hug. Yeah, yeah. Peppermint Patty comes in. Uh-huh. Franco comes in. They stop and they just start going like, 
fist bumping and doing like gang <laughs> smacking. Like, is that really all to Franklin's character in the specials that he's just the cool black dude? He's the token. I mean, I'm glad that he's the cool black dude and not mm-hmm. like we live in a pure Christian white, like <laughs> non segregated neighborhood. Yeah. But at the same time, it's weird when they tr- whenever I watch anything with Franklin. Franklin is just sort of the silent like guy that whenever you meet him you just have to like bump fists yeah. and like be, it, it, be it kind of reminds the peanuts the whole dynamic of the peanuts just reminds me of like it's south park but without any offensive stuff to it <laughs> you know what you're right <laughs> or it's the Lu- other way around lucy you know? is very cartman-esque i guess in <laughs> lucy's cartman there's no fat kids in charlie brown I guess you can kind of consider Charlie Brown fat because they he, all have the same body type. So they're, they're all, all the same. Fat. They're all the same height, except for I think Sally. They're all the same, well, and maybe Linus. Well, what what does that tell you about the peanuts? They're living. They, they they're need they're to, living in a world where they only they're need to all work the same out. Age and <laughs> they all need to have their shirts not starched into that weird <laughs> triangular shape. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I'm looking forward to the. What peanuts. do we call this? Is this a mini cast? This is, is this a, mini- a blooper? I guess this is a mini cast. Because, and what do you call this? This, goes, this is called, this, this what the on. fuck are we talking about? <laughs> we talk about Flash Beagle for if you, two minutes. We talk about trailers for two minutes. If you'd like to... Football. If you'd like to... <laughs> if you'd like to uh, Beating the shit us, out of Doug. If you'd like to tell us what the hell we're talking about, then please, by all means, go to our Facebook page, Animated Animated Like, cast. comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. To... <laughs> It's Flash Beagle Zootopia? and Doug. What about what? How about Zootopia? Yeah. I just saw the new poster for Zootopia. Mm-hmm. I've never seen more puns on a single poster <laughs> in my entire life. I mean, I'm looking forward to Zootopia. I mean, I'm excited. I, am too. I'm I hope excited. it does well. I'm excited to see another just anthropomorphic animal movie from Disney. And if this... <laughs> since what? Uh, Chicken, Chicken Little? Chicken Little, yeah. I mean, I don't even think First in the Frog counts because no. only... Don't. No. No. The it's world is just, all animals. Yeah. I don't know what the story is. I, I know a fox is involved, <laughs> and, a, and, a, a fox and a bunny, is involved and, and a bunny, and so is. Uh, I just, I just wonder too. It's a weird what's thought. Her, what's her name? Sh- uh, Shakira. Shakira plays a gazelle, gazelle. character. Uh, I don't know, but I mean, as far as um, the one thing I'm really curious about about um, is how furries. I mean, furries are already really into it like they want to see this movie really badly. But I just wonder how many of the people who saw the trailer and saw the initial designs. Just went, oh shit. Because they <laughs> have, have characters that look exactly like the main fox character. Because it's just, but it's such a plain yeah. Jane design. It is a red fox yeah. with a button down shirt and like khaki shorts. Yeah, but there's so many people I know that just have like multicolored characters. But also, just... I mean, I mean, just I wonder how many people are like, I have a red fox who wears beige khaki shorts and wears a button down oh, shirt. Watch, they can watch the movie and say, like, hey, it's about me. <laughs> or it's about my character. Yeah. They stole my character from me. Yeah, that's fine. Original character, don't steal. They should have put that on the movie. Yeah. That should be the tagline. Hey, you you go online and Google up your name and then the hedgehog and you will <laughs> most likely find a fan art or a drawing of a character with your name and the hedgehog on it. Are you looking it up right now? I, I, I'm actually really curious. Mine's goth, I think. Like, Andrew, Andrew the Hedgehog yeah, is goth? Yeah, I, th- I think when I looked it up. <laughs> okay, hold on. Michael. That that should be a little fun little thing for you folks out there to look for. <laughs> Comment what Are your you hedgehog. really looking for it right Comment now? Comment what your hedgehog is. <laughs> oh my god, I have a Michael Jackson hedgehog. Uh... <laughs> I have, um... Yeah, what is what is the first actual Michael the Hedgehog? The that... first image is, what the... Michael the Hedgehog. <laughs> I'm not even gonna... I'm, you, no one's gonna guess what it is, but... Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> okay, like... Don't I'll, describe I'll, it, because I don't want to... Should ins- I describe I'm, I don't want to insult the person who did it, because I'll... obviously I don't want to insult Well, them, you probably right? look it up and, like... You, just just imagine. Just, just imagine. I have one You that, look up our names and the Hedgehog. I have one that's Then a, you'll probably look for your own. I have one that's dressed like a Kingdom Hearts character. <laughs> I have, obviously, Michael Jackson Hedgehog. Yeah. Yeah, I got this one, which is really cool. That's pretty neat. That's it's pretty... Like, it's, it's just, oh, wait, that's actually original art, I think. Or, or like, actual... Well, anyway, anyway, I think we should finish for now. So, oh yeah, here we go. This is me. Oh, God. 
I love how the audience is like, what is he looking at? It's, it's, if only I knew. It's the, it's a photo of Michael Jackson with Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> like, the, uh... It's not a drug... Oh, my God. All right, we're done here. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, folks.